Surbhi Upadhyay discusses with money managers how today's affluent youth are investing for a secure future. And the big question is how do we as a nation move from being a nation of savers to a nation of smart investors? Anshu, I'll start with you. That's a tough question. Let's get your opening thoughts. Well, in our opinion, I think the first step is creating awareness uh, that it is simple, uh, it is long-term wealth creator, making it simple to access, making it simple to execute, creating that knowledge base and awareness, that is number one. Second is very important is to establish trust. We believe there is a lot of gap in the, in the image of the financial service provider, what is perceived by the end consumer. And I, we believe that needs to be uh, bridged significantly before this huge adoption happens in the industry on investment solutions or products. And finally, it's about keeping it simple, declutter, demystify, make it very, very simple. And also, like globally that's happened, you know, directed savings into investments, for example, pension funds and other vehicles. If th those can be set up and maybe some kind of fiscal policies created around that, that will direct some flow into invest simple investment products, that will make a huge difference. Okay, and then your thoughts on this, and particularly the regulatory environment that we are in, because it's always a question of whose interest. I mean, the advisor has his interest in mind as well, then there is a client, then there is a manufacturer. How do you see these trends evolving? So I think, you know, if I just pick up on what Anshu is saying, and if we actually put put these three segments aside, I think the biggest uh, hindrance that we have today to actually encouraging mutual fund use is the fact that we need a common KYC. Mm. And therefore today for a, for a customer to actually want to invest within a, within a mutual fund, there is an additional leg that he needs to do, which actually automatically is, uh, is a huge hindrance. And you know, mm. this is something that has been raised time and time again by, uh, by the entire community, be it distributors or be it manufacturers with SEBI, in terms of talking about the fact that we need to have a, we need to allow customers who have a bank account already to be able to invest into mutual funds without mm. any further KYC. Mm. I think but why, why is it such a huge hindrance because one would imagine with, with the promise of you know a single click KYC uh, things would get more streamlined is, isn't that becoming the case? So yes so that is that is supposed to be the ultimate goal mm. but 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 today clearly you have something called CKYC which is what is happening in banks today and which mm. is of course taking its own form and route over a period of time and then you have your CVL KRA happening mm. for mutual funds and capital markets and therefore there is a little bit of a break within this. I think really what what Anshu was saying, and, and if I actually add on to it, if you make the process seamless, I think that is that is that is a huge piece that the regulator can do in terms of really encouraging mm. the use of this medium. The term SIP, I think, has become far more common. It's in, in knowledge now across households in the country. But when you're looking at first-time investors and you interact with so many of them across the length and breadth of India, um, where is the hesitation in making that changeover, moving from that fixed deposit, getting into mutual funds? Has that diminished over the years? So one... In 1997, when I started my career in mutual fund, people were asking, what is mutual fund? Today, there is a significant movement. Uh, today, in most parts of India, we are being recognized. We are being uh, you know, asked relevant questions. So we have covered a lot of ground. But a couple of things which we can copy from other financial intermediation sectors, in terms of banking, if we see I mean, there is an implicit faith of government behind every bank. Mm. Today, despite banks declaring huge losses, no one runs to withdraw their money because there is implicit backing of government of India. In mutual fund, there is explicit risk factor. Mutual fund investments are subject to market risk. So if we can convert this explicit risk factors to, in a positive manner, saying that not doing your financial planning is risk to your financial security, I think a lot of connotations will change. The second thing which we have seen is the new pension scheme. I mean, it has collected lots of money mm. from government employees because it's compulsory allocation. It gets deducted from your salary every year. Mm. Uh, in provident fund organization, we have seen the same thing. In mutual fund, it is completely voluntary. Now, can I create an allocation backed by some tax advantage in the initial period so that people get experience by default and then it becomes the habit. Mm. The third thing which we have seen on the insurance side, I mean their agency network has reached nook and corner. There are probably 2 million plus insurance agents. In mutual funds there are 80,000 ARN holders and maybe if you count number of employees in those ARNs it's about 200,000. You can't expect mutual funds to grow 
with 200,000 feet on street. I need to make it 20 lakh, just like insurance industry. So how do I do that? I have to copy what insurance industries has done and refine it to make this 20 lakh people. So one, I need to keep customer in mind always, there's no doubt about it. But I need to give him some statutory incentive so that he gets pulled in. I need to have feet on street so that he is hand-holded all the time. And what SEBI has done in terms of regulatory framework, obviously that is creating confidence in mutual fund industry. Put all these things together, I think mutual funds will become part and parcel of every man's life.